You can check if a string is null or empty using the isNull method that is in the string class. But in this video, we want to check if the string is not null or not empty by using the isNull method to find out if the meth if the string is empty, it will return true, otherwise it will return false. So let's start off by declaring an empty string. So that would be string. Uh, I'll call my variable test and this indicates that it's an empty string. And we want to check if the string is not null first or empty. So to access the is is null or empty method that's sitting in the string class and we can just give our variable here. So this will return true if the string is null or empty. But if I'm checking that it's not empty or not, I can just use the not. And now I can give a message accordingly. I can say what content the string has if it is not empty. Otherwise, we want to let the user know that the string was actually empty or string, uh, what was it first? Null, null or empty. All right, okay, let's run this and see how it works. So initially our, our variable is empty, so we should really come here. Okay, so we get the string null or empty. Now let's try to change the value to null instead. So this should give us um, true, but not true would be false. So we'll come to the else, so it should be here again. Let's run this again. Now we get the same, although we get this warning as well. And if I change the value to test, or whatever string, now it should say that the string has the value. So in this case, because it's not null or empty, it's actually got a value, then it executed statement, the statement at line 18. So it's as simple as that. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.